everyone, I'm Rachel, and today on Crack Your Bible Vlog, we are going to just be putting on makeup with me because today is International Woman's Day. And hopefully you are at work if you have a job. But if not, I know there is a woman's protest. I am filming from my beauty room slash craft room, I guess. I don't know. It's a really weird small room. It has no purpose. And I got an estimate for cabinets because this used to be blank. I put up these shelves myself just to store all my craft stuff, my sewing stuff, and it looks terrible. So I wanted to get shelving put in where it's like closed. But it's over $2,000 just for this and some stuff down here. But anyway, what are we going to talk about? Um, well, International Women's Day, right? So a day without a woman protest is going on all around the world. I want to show you something really quick. So this is my foundation color normally. What is that? light cool I can't see what I'm even filming but on camera now I am having to use this very dark it's 210 you can't see because it's covered in clearance labels because that's how I shop um 210 pretty dark that's what I have to wear on screen now because I've noticed that my face is blown out and I look like a ghost. So I got something that's like 32 shades darker than my ghost white skin so that I don't look blown out. So as you can see, I don't have great skin, like freckles and all of this. This is from sleeping one day in makeup four days ago. <sighs> so... Anyway, now if you watched Monday's video about um, the curse on Eve, look, look how dark that is. I only have one of my studio lights in here. Just because this is such a small room, I couldn't bring all three studio lights in. So anyway, um, this is what looks silly. <sighs> So anyway, if you watched Monday's video about the curse on Eve, you remember that God said that woman's desire is going to be for her husband and he's going to rule over her. Now, just to let you know, my mirror is literally right here. So that's why I'm looking down. So Eve is going to desire her husband's position within God's hierarchy as the ruler of the family. And she's going to really pine after men. But she is going to want his position, but she's not going to get it. Man will rule over her. Because remember, she wanted to be like God. I seriously have to go all the way down to my chest when I do this because it's so dark. Now, International Woman's Day today, well, actually when I film it, it will be today, but today is Tuesday. Um, International Woman's Day is having a protest where it's all the women are supposed to forego shopping and eating out and going to work so that people could see the impact that women make on the economy and schools and doctor's offices. But this is more just like satanic garbage because the powers that be want you to turn against each other so that you're not focused on the real issue, which is Satan. You don't see your real adversary because you think that it's men who are out to get you 
and not Satan. So I just keep seeing um, the media report about like, oh, women make 70 something cents compared to men, even though that's been debunked like a billion times. Look how far down I had to do this. And it's because men go into positions that are higher paying, they negotiate, they take different classes in school, like engineering, compared to women, because more men are inclined to do these non-social positions. Now we know women are more social than men, just in general. Like, of course there's outliers, but in general, like when I worked, um, at my job, I was the youngest person at my job. Let me do this. So, um, anyway, we had to be open 24 hours a day and it was always the women, especially the women who had children. And it wasn't the women with little children. It was the women with like adult children or teenage children that were doing this, but you could always count on them being off for spring break Christmas now because I was single at the time and even when I was dating my husband I worked every Christmas that I worked graveyard I worked Christmas Eve but did these women that had children were they working no they were off Halloween Thanksgiving, spring break, summer vacation. So even though I am a woman as well, I had no children. So these women were always gone. Oh, my kid has something at school. Oh, I got to leave early. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. You didn't see the men doing that at work. I didn't do it because I didn't have kids. But... Maybe you get paid less because you're never at work. Everyone's leaving early to go to dentist appointments. Oh, my kid's sick. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. That's why you don't make very much money because you're never working. Oh my God. It just, it drove me crazy. And you know what? It's fine if you have kids, but don't be in a job where all of your coworkers have to pick up your slack because you decided that you wanted to have kids. Now, I don't have kids and I don't work. This is my new job that makes zero dollars. So, um, that's fine. But I don't really want to hear about how women are so mistreated when my experience was, it was always the women who were calling out every five minutes to go do something else other than work. But in general, it's these women who aren't doing a whole lot. Now I see on the thing, um, like a day without woman, they're giving out statistics for like what women do. And they're saying like, women make up most of retail. Again, these are low skilled jobs. So if you decide to take a low skilled job so that you have the freedom to be off of work because you decided to have children, whose fault is that? Of course, you're not going to be making the same amount of money as like a computer scientist or an engineer. And you know, they throw up these statistics like, oh, women make up this many pediatricians and everything else. Okay, well, if we had a day without men, let's talk about who's running the dams and our sewer systems and going up and doing electrical work up on the cell phone towers. Now, of course, there's going to be some women in it, but in general... If you go watch Mike Rowe's Dirty Jobs, I see quite a bit more men working 
in these uh, non-glamorous, non-social positions that keep society moving forward so that we're not living in a hellhole than I do women. But anyway, the thing is, is the powers that be want you to keep it focused on men versus women so that you don't notice that it's actually Satan running the show. Because men and women, they complement each other. One is not better than the other, but they both do things to keep society going and they're important in their own ways but if you lost either of them if we had a day without men or a day without women I mean we can be honest I think a day without men would be much scarier Based on the positions that they hold and the dirty, unglamorous jobs that they do, than if we just don't have enough cashiers down at Macy's. So, or, oh, your kid's not going to go to the pediatricians today. So, I'm not discounting what women do, but... I think we need to stop listening to the propaganda that says women are put upon, women are slaves, or any of this kind of stuff. Because women in Western countries have it better than people in general have had it in any other point in time. I'm sitting here talking to you, and I don't even know where you where you are right now. <sighs> And you're watching this from wherever you are. People have never been able to do this up until the last, oh, I don't know, 10 years. YouTube's been around for, what, 12 years? Just 12 years. <sighs> so people are always complaining about how put upon, and they've never been put upon in their life. So, if you want to see what a day without women would be like and how put upon women are, why don't you go down to Africa where women are dying in childbirth, they're gathering water, having to walk miles and miles and miles, their husband might have multiple wives, there's not enough food to go around. But women are complaining that they're not making as much as some dude that is a Fortune 500 CEO because they decided that they wanted to get pregnant at 20 when they were idiots and not financially stable and didn't have a plan for their life. Or, you know, maybe they're not stupid and they just they don't want to work outside of the house. They want to do their own thing, which is fine. Like I'm a housewife. I spend my day doing chores. My husband bought me an ironing board yesterday because I didn't like the one that I had. And I was pretty happy about that. But, um, you make decisions and you live with the consequences. If you decide to get a garbage degree in English lit, or you get a degree in women's studies, well, you're not going to make a whole lot of money. And that's not men's fault. That's your fault. Because you had a choice. And that's what you decided to do. So I would suggest that women stop blaming men for their problems. And take responsibility for the choices that they make. And realize that... Men aren't the enemy. Satan is. And when we stop fighting with each other and realize we're on the same team, we all just have different jobs to keep society functioning and running. Life is a lot better.
I'm not the best at doing makeup and I'm definitely not the best at doing hair. I've noticed that my hair in all the videos looks terrible. It always is like <sighs> all the time. I do this out like with this giant brush because I'm too lazy to blend it with a little tiny one. I don't have like 800 eye brushes like these beauty gurus where they can just like oh one color here and then I have a completely clean brush so I can blend it and then another one like no. But um I really wish women wouldn't buy into all this garbage that they're so put upon. Because women have it really good, actually, especially if you live in the West. Just by virtue of living in a country that has an overwhelming number of Christians in it at any point in time. Those countries almost always have the most freedoms and rights for women. But today you have all the women complaining like, oh my gosh. We have no rights. Oh, we're so put upon. People whistle at us in the street. Uh, might I suggest never going to India or South America or any country outside of the West if you don't like how you're treated here because you for sure won't like how you're treated over there. <sighs> Yesterday when I was talking, I didn't have any eyeliner or mascara on, so I looked really strange. This is like the best eyeliner. It's like 98 cents at Target. It's called Elf. So all the other makeup, aside from this foundation that I use only when filming is pretty expensive, but none of them hold a candle to this eyeliner. So I also saw like Katy Perry was talking about how she cut her hair short because she wants to like redefine feminism. These people always want to have props for like, oh wow, you're so brave. Like how cushy is your life? Oh my gosh, do you see this? It's in my eyeball. How cushy is your life when cutting your hair is like a brave decision? I think brave would be like fighting a bear to save your baby. It would not be cutting your hair. But these women, like, their lives are so luxurious that they really want to, uh, make up reasons for why they're like they're doing things for women and they're not she herself said that she had like fried her hair i guess she's never heard of olaplex she fried her hair from going platinum blonde which is the real reason that she cut all of her hair off but you know she's redefining feminism by cutting her hair and frankly I've had short hair when I was in elementary school. Never again it'll look like hell. I don't know why women don't just like embrace the fact that we get to change our looks. Like if you look like hell and you're a guy, you can't go around looking like Manny from YouTube. Manny MUA. Who's on, what is it, all the Maybelline commercials? Like, you'll look like you're a drag queen if you're a guy. People are going to think that you're gay if you wear makeup. They don't think that if you're a woman. You get, you can cover up any sort of bad acne. You can change your look. You can wear all this stuff. And people aren't going to care. And you get so much more leeway being a woman than you do as a man. But, oh, women complain still that they're so put upon. I 
I feel like so many people just love to complain, and I love to complain, but let's talk about real issues instead of like, I don't get enough money working at Whole Foods than I would if I was working for like the NSA or something like that. Not that the NSA is great, but. I will see you on Friday and I will talk to you later. Bye.